Hey guys. <laughs> Welcome back to a new day and a new stream. It's me, Koba Cheshire. <laughs> How are you guys doing? <laughs> I'm happy to see you all. I hope you're all doing good. Uh, I am, as we now know, not doing good, but I'm doing good enough to stream. So I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. And I hope you guys are all doing better than I am. And thank you guys all so, so, so much for the hugs. I really appreciate it. That's so sweet of you guys. <laughs> Let me say hi to everyone. Chris, you're here. Hi, Chris. How are you doing? How was your day so today so far? And are you done with work already? Yeah, you should be. You should be done with work, right? No, you should not be done with work yet. You should not, right? Should you? No, you should not. <laughs> How are you doing, Chris? <laughs> I hope your work day was good today. <laughs> I hope your workday was good today. And Cassie here as well. How are you doing, Cassie? <laughs> how was your day today? And how's your laptop? Is it doing okay again? I hope so. And Addis here as well. How are you doing, Addis? How was last night? Please let me know all about it. I really, really hope you had a freaking amazing time. From the pictures, it looked absolutely lovely. I can't imagine that you didn't have a good time, but I want to hear all about it. <laughs> I want to hear all about it, guys. <coughs> I'm gonna cough here and there, okay? I can't help it. I'll try to maybe mute myself or something for whenever I do it. I hope it won't happen <laughs> too often, but it is gonna happen. So, a oh, day, you're here. How are you doing, day? <laughs> you're excited for this? I don't know at all. Like, not one bit what to expect. I don't even know what genre this game is. I know nothing. I just know the name. That's all I know. I'm going into this completely and utterly blind. So, I'm very excited to see what the game is about. But how are you doing, Dale? So I'm to see. I hope you're doing good. <laughs> I'm gonna be listening to this in uh, the car on my way home. Come this moment of it's such a good day. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, Peter, you're here as well. How are you doing, Peter? <laughs> meep, meep. <laughs> how are you doing? I hope you're doing good. Ooh, drink time. I have some tea. I hope it's cooled down enough. It's still, I just made it. Let me see. If I burn my mouth, then it's your fault. Okay, Thomas. Also, hi, how are you doing? How was your day today? I hope you had a good day today, Thomas. <laughs> Let me see if I will burn my mouth. Slight burn. Slight burn, but nothing too bad. Nothing too bad. <clears throat> hope Chesh is not sick. Yeah, I... So I had the birth... I was supposed to have the birthday tonight, right? Of my dad. It's my dad's birthday today. Um... We were gonna have a family dinner and everything. It was gonna be so much fun. I was gonna see my whole family. I was really looking forward to it. Um, but I was uh, I was planning to at least take a COVID test before I would go there, because my boyfriend has been having COVID for the last week or so. Um, so I figured just in case, I already did a COVID test before, which is negative. And then I thought just in case for today, I will also do a COVID test uh, to make sure I'm safe to go tonight. And what do you know it's positive and i only woke up with like a slight sore throat like slight 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 and that's it besides that i felt completely fine when i woke up um but now i'm definitely slowly starting to feel worse and worse during the day uh the worst part is just that i'm feeling tired mainly and that my back hurts my back really hurts a lot right now but besides that i'm really okay uh, oh and some coughing but i don't mind the coughing too much but yeah, besides that, I'm really feeling okay. I'm just hoping it won't get too much worse, which is also why I decided to stream today instead of tomorrow, because if I feel really sick tomorrow or Friday, then, you know, I won't be able to stream. So better, better be safe than sorry, I guess. <laughs> better be safe than sorry. Oh, Thomas, you're here as well. How are you doing, Thomas? I haven't, oh, well, let's do Thomas and Thomas. Okay, hi, Thomas. Or Fowl, maybe, but then I have to change it. I don't know, what do you prefer, Thomas Fowl? There you go. <laughs> Viva! Oh, you're here! How are you doing, Viva? I'm so happy to see you. How are you doing? I finally get to see some chess stream again. Yes, I'm here again. I'm here again. <laughs> I hope you're doing okay, Viva. I'm so happy to see you. Kova gesture sounds like the worst gesture. <laughs> Made to stop. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I think Kova gesture is definitely a downgrade from normal gesture, but you know, don't we take any gesture we can get? No, no. <laughs> The spicy flu, yeah, it's very spicy, very spicy. I hadn't had it before yet, guys. This is my first time. <laughs> my first time. So I got a little work to go, but done most of the stuff for today. So chill until I head home. <gasps> Are you cheating on your work with me? Is that what's happening? Huh? Are you cheating on your work with me? I feel honored. I feel honored. It's not working again. It's not working again. Wait, let me 
There's something with that sad face. Doesn't want to do the sad face. There you go. Now it should be working again. Very accurate for today. <laughs> Very accurate for today. Get better soon. Thank you so much, Thomas. I really appreciate it. Oh, you have an exam tomorrow. Really? What's it about? And I hope it will go well. I really hope it will go well. <laughs> I'm sure you will do so good. I'm okay, sure you will ace know. it. <laughs> Minecraft, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I swear I'm happy about it. <laughs> How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> You're in a floral dress. Love that one. Yeah, actually, the time that I wore it um, when you guys came to visit Amsterdam was the first time, even though I've had it in my closet for a while, that I wore it. And now I wear it all the time, basically, because I like it so much. It makes me feel so, I don't know, like I want to troll around, you know? <laughs> I want to troll around. <laughs> The dress is very pretty. Let me, I'll show it, I'll show it. No, I'll show it now. See if we can have a sad dress. See if we can have a sad dress. Will the dress look sad? Look. Such a nicely trolley dress. Isn't it great? <laughs> you gotta see it that well now because of the filter that's on and the different camera, et cetera, et cetera. But I really like it so much. Thank you guys. No idea still at the repair place, no word on it yet. Ooh, they're taking a long time, aren't they? Or maybe that means it's no good. Or it means it's really good and they just haven't used their time yet to repair it because they're like, ah, that one's so easy. We'll do that one last, you know? Maybe, hopefully. <laughs> do you know where you caught the plague? Yes. From my lovely boyfriend. Where he got it? No clue. But yes, I blame him and I'm gonna hang this over his head for the rest of eternity, basically. I hope he's feeling okay. Yeah, he didn't get it too badly, luckily. He didn't get a fever or anything, but he definitely felt very shitty. Um, and since today, he's starting to feel slightly better again, so that's at least really good. I'm surprised you're streaming rest up when you need to. Whew. Talking is tiring, Jesus, guys. <laughs> Thanks, but I don't need to yet. I really appreciate it, Viva. But that's why I'm streaming now, just in case when I need it, I can stop, you know? My lower back legs hurt so bad when I had COVID for some- Oh, your your legs as well. I don't know why, but that's- Yeah, I mean, my lower back is exactly what hurts so much right now, but my legs don't. That's interesting. I have never heard of that before. That really sucks, though, Day. Is that completely gone again? Do you feel completely okay again? Um, foul is nice, but as a challenge, it should sound like uh, foul as, a, as little as possible. Foul. Foul. Oh, but that's gonna be difficult. Foul. I'm gonna go with foul, foul, foul. Nope. See, there I go. There I go wrong again. Perfect face. Time to play. <laughs> Sadly parable. Hi, Mike. <laughs> How are you doing? So good to see you, Mike. Have you been? I hope you're doing good. <laughs> I swear I'm happy to see you. I swear. <laughs> the exam is about professional English. Aw, oh, you'll ace that. You'll ace that for sure. I'm not even worried about it one bit. <laughs> you'll do so well. I only took it in yesterday right before they closed, so they haven't ba had it. Okay, okay, okay. Fine, I'll be patient then. I don't blame them too much. I, I, they, they are excused, I guess. They are excused. <laughs> the whole concert was fucking awesome. Both supporting man and main were on fire. Setlist was amazing. Some songs like Trooper, Fear of the Dark, and Number uh, of the Best were insane. Because of the whole crowd singing louder than the band and their sound system. Also, whole set decorations were fucking crazy awesome. That sounds so cool, Addis. I'm so happy to... I'm really out of breath. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just from talking. That sounds so cool, though, Addis. I'm so happy for you. It doesn't show in my face, but I am happy for you. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> That's so cool. And now you still have a little bit of vacation, right? Hanging out with friends, I think, right? If I understood correctly. Good thing about Stanley Parable, there's a lot of listening, so you can take talking breaks. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's good. And it's not gonna be scary. Right? Right? I refrain from dog grabs today then to save your breath. Yes, please. Don't make me walk around. Pretty please. <laughs> I was getting ready for the stream. I was just like constantly like, okay, let's take a little break again. <laughs> I've been considering oh. things that begin with the letter M. Moron. Yes, Lee! The face is very accurate now. Oh, <laughs> see? It's very accurate. 
Kelsey, thank you so, so, so much for that. You gave it to me, man. That makes me so happy to see. Seriously, thank you for that. I think from now on, we sell some VIP badges. I think I'm going to make everyone VIP. No. <laughs> well, 800 people VIP. No. <laughs> thank you so much, Kelsey. <laughs> I really appreciate it. that's so sweet of you. Six more? Oh god. Please, no! No, 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 no! <laughs> Six to go down, okay? And then like a hundred more, at least. <laughs> Today I had a free day and tomorrow early morning I'm going home. Okay, I see, okay. That's so nice. And now you're just hanging out with some people? Hopefully. My arms are sore from working out yesterday, but I'm not bad. Thanks. How are you? What were you doing? What were you, whoa, 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 let me try that again. What were you working out? Yes, that's correct. What were you doing for a workout? That's better. That's better. Let's go with that. <laughs> what were you doing? Also, congrats on working out. <laughs> that's always so good. I think I'm going to have a problem with that now since I'm not allowed to leave the house and don't really feel like I can exercise much right now, but we're gonna see how that's gonna go tomorrow. At least yesterday I still went for a run. I was supposed to go today, but I moved it one day. So yesterday I already did a run. So I did at least two runs this week. Missing one though, unfortunately. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. <laughs> when I hit 200, you have to refund them all. <gasps> Can I give you something else instead? <laughs> Can I give you something else instead? <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> Please? <laughs> I'm hardly here, so I probably shouldn't be VIP. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Let's take that away from him. I don't even know who gave that to him. He, he, he does not deserve that. Who, who made that mistake? Huh, probably one of the mods. It wasn't me. I don't make mistakes, but... <laughs> Hope you'll get better soon and can go and visit Chris and Andrew. I hope so too. I mean, I don't expect it to take long. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? COVID doesn't take too long, I think. COVID doesn't take too long. Oh, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be taking five days max because you have to stay in the house at least for five days. So it's gonna take five days max and then I'm out of the house again, free to go, okay? Free to go. Talking is hard? Yeah, I know. Talking is so hard. It's normally already hard. No oh. Can you guys see that? Can you? Not really. I have like a... Uh, one of those takes. Okay, it's good. We're good. We're good. Doctor! <gasps> I'm so happy to see you. I feel like it's been a really long time since I last saw you. Like one stream basically, okay? <laughs> Hi, Doctor! How are you doing? It's so good to see you! How are you? How have you been? How was everything? How was your previous weekend? How is life? I want to know it all! I want to know it all! Chin-ups and dumbbell... <laughs> Chin-ups and dumbbells! It's the best I got at home, but it's been paying off! That's so good, Mikes! Wow! Very impressive! Very, very impressive! Seriously! If you want to join our exercise group, you're more than welcome to. We have a little exercise group. I don't think I can even set VIPs. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. Then you would just un-VIP everyone. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> oh no, my eye is twitching so much. Maybe if I like stare intensely at the camera now. Can you guys see it? Wait. Stop twitching. Ah, uh, that's just the moment you want to show something. It stops. Ugh, I hate that. Give him a hug, well, at least when you will be healthy. <laughs> I'll do that. I'll do that. <laughs> you still bear the responsibility. Exactly. I agree with that, Thomas. I agree with that. <laughs> I had an eye twitch today, stress related. Uh, okay, that would make sense. I am stressed a lot. <laughs> that makes sense. But I'm sorry to hear that, Chris. I hope it's gone now, and I hope the stress that caused it is gone now, too. I really hope so. I haven't seen you forever, to be honest. I know. I know. I mean, we raided you last time. Was it last time? Yeah, it was last time. I never had the opportunity. I was so happy about that. I never had the opportunity to raid you since we're streaming at different times. But last time I started the stream very late because I was doing a co-stream. So finally, for once, basically, I had the pleasure of being able to raid you, which I was so happy about. But yeah, uh, be before that, I was sick for a very long time. And now I have COVID, which is great! <laughs> Lucky me! Lucky me, right? <laughs> Lucky me! 
Life is great, guys. Life is great. Life is good. Couldn't be better. <laughs> I heard about that in a previous stream. I don't have set dates for my workouts. It varies. That's fine. It's like we keep it the same so that we have a bit more of a thing to keep each other to it. But like we are just there to keep each other going, you know? So that's fine. It doesn't have to be the same days. Fine. How are you doing? Oh, that means... Ah, uh, but we should probably do Dark dar Souls, right? The blindfolded. Hope you recover soon. Thank you so much. I hope so too. I really hope so too. I at least have to stay in the house for five days. And then after those five days, when you've been uh, symptom free for 24 hours, then you can leave the house again. Or 10 days if you've been sick for 10 days. Let's hope it's not going to be 10 days though. Please, let it not be 10 days. Um, But how are you doing? <laughs> how are you doing, COVID? <laughs> no, we're not COVID. <laughs> How are you doing, COVID? You know, everyone's always asking about what is COVID doing, but never about how was COVID doing, you know? <laughs> I'm in void. <laughs> I meant to say void. <laughs> Definitely not wanting to say. <laughs> Definitely not wanting to say. <laughs> how are you doing, void? To be fair, like, there are some of the same letters in there. Actually, all of those letters exist in the same word, okay? <laughs> I blame you for that. I blame you for that point. I almost want to say COVID to get caught. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I hope you get well soon too. Thank you so much, Mike. I really appreciate it. I was happy about that though. Thank you. Yeah, no, of course, of course. I was so happy that I was finally able to. I wanted to forever. It's always so difficult to stop by your streams and especially rate you since we're on such different time zones but i'm always so happy when i manage to stop by because you're a freaking awesome streamer seriously so amazing i'm afraid i can't really watch today still need to play the game oh that's okay that's okay doctor yeah definitely don't get spoiled then since apparently it's such a good game we definitely don't want you getting spoiled yeah by the way this game is courtesy of chris for people who didn't know yet Chris gifted it to me. Freaking amazing and so sweet. So that's why we're able to play it now. I should do like a little disclaimer at the bottom, you know, right? Dis disclaimer and then courtesy of Chris. <laughs> well, we can look at the bright side of all this Corona thing is that you can sit at your home and play video games if you have the energy for it. Yeah, I spend my whole day playing Guild Wars, <laughs> which was great. <laughs> Which was great. The downside of it is though that I uh, am like an independent, however you want to call it. We have a certain word for it in Dutch. I'm sure there's a word for it in English, but I can't come up with it now. Anyway, um, self-employed. That's what I am. That's the word I was looking for. I'm self-employed. So if I'm sick, I don't make any money. And since I was sick for two weeks in a row, I didn't make any money for two weeks and I'm not going to make any money either. So that's a whole month of wage that I'm not getting, which is very problematic, uh, which is why I was also really hoping not to catch COVID now. But yeah, I try my best. I really try my best to not catch it. <laughs> and I still did. And nothing to be done about now. So at least I can play video games now. Yay! But I'm also getting very poor. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> And no one asks, who is COVID? So, yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, no one's asking the good questions. The questions that need to be asked. <laughs> um, COVID Cheshire is definitely not functioning at maximum capacity. Thank you. Thank you. That's very, very observant of you there, Foul. Foul. There we go. COVID stream, yes. COVID stream. <laughs> Played the original version, but apparently there's tons of new... Oh, Really? Oh, I didn't know there was... I thought it was probably just, like, uh, upgraded graphics or something. But I don't know. Okay. We should probably start playing. Let me... My mug. By the way, guys, this is such a cool mug. Look, the temperature right now? 56 degrees. It's an ember mug. It's a smart mug. It will keep it at the same temperature. Which is perfect for streams, because now I can just have hot drinks, or actually cold drinks. I could use it for cold drinks, too. To keep it at the same temperature, which is freaking amazing. So now I can stream and be slow with my drinking. Time for the games now? Yes, we're gonna play now. Please play, I'd like to see before I go in the car. Okay! Starting! 
I'm starting, guys. I'm starting. Let me see. Oh, I'm so out of breath. So out of breath. Let me see. You use Fahrenheit? No. That's 56 degrees Celsius. I don't even know what that in Fahrenheit would be in Celsius, but that would be really cold, right? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be really cold? Anyway, it's 56 degrees Celsius, which is apparently the perfect drinking temperature for tea. So that's what we're going with. Let me see. There we go. No, she's not an American. <laughs> yep. <laughs> not an idiot, okay? Thank you very much. I'm going with the normal thing, which is Celsius. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, guys. Um, we want English subtitles. There we go. You played the Stanley Parable before. No, we have not. Please just a slide until the computer is barely visible. Oh, it's barely visible now. Please enter the current time. <laughs> I see. <laughs> it's PM. It I've been is. considering <laughs> things that begin with the letter M. Moron. That's so sweet. <laughs> that makes me cry a little bit. <laughs> that makes me cry a little bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. That's so sweet, <laughs> Doctor. Thank you so, so, so much. I really appreciate it. Oh, and it went to some great people. It went to Noise and Blizzcall, the Red Shadow as well, actually. Oh, GW, that's so nice to see. Oh. Thank you so, so, so much for that, Doctor. Seriously, I really appreciate it so much. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. I, uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's a hot drink, understood. Yeah, we were talking about tea, Mike. We were Are you not paying attention? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I have a small mug from Ember that's really useful for coffee. Yeah, I really like those small mugs, too. I really want one of those small mugs. They're great. I really like it. <laughs> Judge is not working. <laughs> I did there for a second. <laughs> oh, hey, Blitz how are you doing? I'm so happy to see you. How have you been? I hope you're doing okay. I AFK, don't judge me. Oh, I'm judging so hard. I'm judging so, so hard. Let's see, it's five. Twenty seven. It's gonna be twenty eight soon. Heading home will audio only until I get home. Okay, drive safely, please. Don't take your eyes off the road, okay? Please be safe, even though you want to see the game. Okay, Chris? Deal? You gotta still be alive when I get there, okay? You, th that's the rule. Okay, quickly, let's confirm. There we go. You gotta still be alive when I get there. Accessibility settings can be accessed from the main menu. Okay. <laughs> Goku! Hi! I'm so happy to see you, Goku! How are you doing? I thought you were streaming tomorrow. I was, sorry, I posted an announcement in Discord. I was streaming, but I got COVID. So I can't leave the house, so we're streaming today. <laughs> That's what we're doing. <laughs> How are you doing, though? I hope you're doing good, Goku. <laughs> uh, okay, look, it's Inception. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Never the end is never the end is never the end is loading never the end. <laughs> this is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee, employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-ripping, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. And 
as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Here we can go. Give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Give me one, one second. Be right back. Okay, I'm back again. I should be able to breathe a little bit better now because <laughs> I was not able to get any air in, basically. <laughs> Hope you get recovered soon. Thank you so much, Goku. I really appreciate it. You're doing good, Blitz School. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. I'm so happy to hear that. <laughs> Stream over? Yeah, that was it. I mean, that was about as much as I could handle. Okay, wait. <laughs> there we go. Sorry. <laughs> Getting strong Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy vibes from the narration. Same, 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 same. I don't know why, and I might be completely wrong about it, but like before we started playing the game, I had a mind that would maybe be a little bit like super liminal. Uh, not maybe the puzzle wise, but just the vibe of the game. We're going to see if that's correct, but that's what I had in mind. She's gone longer than a second. She's clearly left us. <laughs> I ran away. I ran away to the bed, basically. <laughs> Completely forgot, I think I've seen a gameplay of this like years ago. Barely remember anything about this game anyway. Supposedly, apparently, I didn't know Goku. But some things have changed. Because this is what, the Stanley Parable Deluxe Edition? Or what is this again? Anyway, a new edition. And apparently things should have changed, I think. I saw this sort of mention my birthday event. Did it? In my Discord? Oh, yeah, not not my birthday event. Uh, tonight, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> I was so confused. Tonight is my dad's birthday, but I can't go there now. My birthday is in exactly a month. So my dad's birthday. Oh, oh, Peter, that's so sweet. Wait, it's not reading the message. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's so sweet. <gasps> Peter, thank you so, so, so much. I really appreciate it. Oh, wow. That's so sweet. <laughs> That's so sweet of you. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> I really appreciate it. <laughs> I gotta fix those settings. I'm so sorry about that. But yeah, so my dad's birthday is on the 1st of June. And my birthday is on the 1st of July. Exactly a month later. So, you know. The original version was a source mod. This is completely remade in Unity. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I didn't know. You got straight? Yes. <laughs> Otherwise, you wouldn't have shown up. Obviously, Mike's. <laughs> you only showed up because you thought it was my birthday. I see how it is. <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> okay, let's, let's resume the game. I hate Mondays, but... Stanley doesn't sound like you would hate Mondays. Can we like interact with things? Oh. We make typing sounds. Oh. Can't go in there. 
Can go in there. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it oh, mean? The door closed. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he Ooh. had simply missed a memo. Door no matter closed. how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh. Okay. Can't see outside. See, it is super liminal vibes, isn't it? Turning off all the computers. Someone was just playing solitaire. See that? I see that solitaire. <laughs> God scam! I did text to speech. Would you mind typing your message out for me, Peter? Because I couldn't see it now because it was too small. Would you mind typing it out for me, pretty please? Try jumping? I can't. Can't jump. Also, I don't have any light. Oh! Oh, achievement unlock! You can't jump! Achievement unlock! Get your first achievement! <laughs> That's great! <laughs> That's great! Oh, I love that. Everyone hates Mondays here. But everyone just suddenly disappeared. Like, they literally... This person was clearly just carrying their mug. And then there's these papers. Like, this person was just carrying papers, right? I don't think we can open any of these doors. Bet you there's an achievement for still trying to open all of the doors. When Stanley came to a set of uh -oh. two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Can I really not open any of these doors? Doesn't look like it. Some of the things are open at the end, though. I mean, clearly, we gotta do the opposite of what they say, right? Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here <laughs> in this immaculate, beautifully <laughs> constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. <laughs> Gotta do the opposite of standing still now, right? Yes. Really, <laughs> really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. <laughs> looking at the paintings, yes. <laughs> at this point, Stanley's obsession with this room brought it on creepy. And reflected poorly on his overall personality. <laughs> it's possible that this is why everyone <laughs> left. <laughs> My dad's birthday is 13 Stanley days before. sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. <laughs> No, I gotta stay now. Oh, my stomach hurts from this. <laughs> my stomach hurts from this. <laughs> see if we can get a cup of coffee. No, we can't. See, even a mug here. There's mugs everywhere. My dad's birthday is 13 days before my birthday, and his birthday is 13 days from today. Quick math. <gasps> Goku's birthday is coming up. Goku's birthday is coming up, guys. <laughs> you hate PayPal? Why at us? What's wrong with PayPal? I mean, I prefer not using it either. I use the Dutch program that we have whenever I can use it, but... Uh, Chess is bad at following instructions. I mean, I'm just a rebel like that, okay? I can't help it. I'm just a rebel. And what <laughs> is this? Oh, Micah! <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. That's so freaking sweet of you. How are you doing? How did the game go? Wow, my brain is really mush, guys. I'm gonna mix up all the words. But how did the game go? How did the stream go? What were you playing? Warframe, you were playing Warframe. How did it go? <laughs> did you have a good time? Also, welcome in. Welcome in, Raiders. I hope you guys had an amazing time there. <gasps> Blisco, hi, how are you doing? <laughs> and Morty Stark, you're here as well. How are you doing, Morty Stark? <laughs> I haven't seen you in ages, Blisco. So nice to see you again. <laughs> You had fun? Oh, I'm so happy to hear that, Mike. I'm so happy to hear that. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I have COVID at the moment. Everything is a bit of a mess right now, but... <laughs> Best video game narrator ever. Do Am I supposed to know the the narr like the, the voice? Do I? Can I know him from something else as well? 
My birthday is coming up to. <gasps> it was your birthday, Mikes. I miss your birthday. I miss your birthday, Mikes. No. Why didn't you tell me? No, Mikes. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. May 22nd. Happy birthday. Happy belated birthday. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Did you have a good time? I hope you had a great time. You didn't tell anyone this year? Well, I'm going to save it now for next year. I'm going to write that down somewhere. Wait. So Goku's in 13 plus 13 days, right? I gotta write this down somewhere. Let's see. Let's see. Goku is... 26 days from now. And Mike's... Is May 22nd. Gotta remember now. Gotta remember now. Next year. <gasps> you can't escape me next year. <laughs> You weren't here before? No, I know, I know, I know. You wouldn't cheat on Vika, would you now? <laughs> You've been on holiday? Oh, really? Where did you go, Vika? And did you have a good time? I hope you had a great time. I hope it was sunny as well. I hope you had good weather. Get better soon. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, Matrix here as well. How are you doing, Matrix? I'm so happy to see you. I hope you're doing good. And thank you for the hug for the stream. Uh, you had a good day? Okay, I'm happy to hear that at least twice. Next year, though, next year, okay? Mm -hmm. You won't escape me then. <laughs> oh, you paid Mike's for his birthday. <laughs> you say them on your phone calendar? Yeah, I do too. I do too, but yours just wasn't in there yet. I need my phone calendar for all of it, guys. I need my phone calendar. <laughs> You're July 5th? I think I have that already. But let me at least... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. July 5th is Adam's. There you go. <laughs> she came in my bed for vacation? Now that's a bit more information that I would have liked, Morty. Um, but it's good to hear you guys had a good time. That's good to hear. <laughs> Always happy to hear when people are having a good time together, you know? <laughs> uh, McLove, what about my sis? Oh, it's in Spain. Oh, never heard of it before, but that sounds nice. <laughs> That's great. Wait, is Morty your sister? <laughs> is Morty your sister? Wait. <laughs> or <laughs> I'm so confused now. <laughs> I'm so confused now. Either way, I hope you had a good time in whatever way, shape, or form that was, okay? <laughs> My birthday is also in 357 days. Wait, it was your birthday? I missed your birthday? Is that not in my... There's not in my thing. No. Why am I missing everyone's birthdays? I'm so sorry. I hope you had a good birthday. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I'm missing everyone's birthdays. I'm sorry, guys. Can I blame it on being sick, even though I wasn't sick at the time? Can we just be like, <coughs> sorry guys, I'm sick, okay? <laughs> Can we do that, please? <laughs> Can we do that? <laughs> I'm not the sister, we had a good time! <laughs> okay, um, I'm at least happy to hear that the good time was not with your sister, okay? Because then I don't know what I would have to do, but I feel like I would have to do something, okay? And I'm happy that I don't have to do something. I'm I'm happy that the good time was with your non-sister Morny, okay? <laughs> Why don't we have a birthday calendar? 
I mean, we do. We have a birthday calendar, but people need to put their birthday in there for it to work. <laughs> we have the birthday calendar. It exists in Discord, okay? But people need to enter it first. <laughs> Everyone's related. We're all family. One big family, guys. One big family that has a little bit too much fun with each other, apparently. <laughs> Morty said he was her dad last time he was in. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. I don't I don't know what's going on there. I don't I don't think I want to get into that, guys. I don't think I want to get into what's going on there. <laughs> I'm tired of the secret I want the world to know. What? That you guys are uh, sleeping together? Or that you are her sister? Or <laughs> that you are her sister that's sleeping together with her, huh? That's a lot of secrets. <laughs> After the birthday, she needs to know your mother's maiden name and the names of your first pets. The last one we can skip out on uh, in return for your bank account number, okay? With your PIN code, obviously. I mean, that kind of speaks for itself, you know? Oh, again, I told you about the cake last stream, but it was already two days after. I'm sorry, I see. That's what the cake was for. I see. That's what the cake was for. That's so nice. I'm happy to hear you had cake. I'm happy to hear you had cake for your birthday. <laughs> I'm from Alabama. <laughs> I gotta eat. I can't deal with this. <laughs> flee, Micah, flee. <laughs> Enjoy your dinner. I hope you will have a great, great dinner. It's Macalic. <laughs> and thank you so much for the rate once again. I really appreciate it so, so, so much, Micah. Thank you. <laughs> Sweet home, treasure, Baba. None of that here, okay? You keep that for a Micah stream. Please and thank you, Morny. Please. <laughs> Right, live incest is legal. All sorts of incest. <clears throat> that explains a lot about you know. <laughs> no, no, no. That went too far. <laughs> See, as long as it's consensual, no harm is done. Okay, we're gonna play the game, guys. We're gonna. <laughs> we're gonna. This is going in a different direction. But this at last, going... he'd had oh. enough of the amazing room and took the first <laughs> open door on his left to get back to business. Can't open the door again. First open door on the left. Uh, but maybe not. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> it reminds me of Portal as well. Well, the doors close behind us. Makes me feel very uncomfortable. Warning, do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, 1,000. Penalty for jumping off cargo lift, 5,000. But you'll be dead. <laughs> but you'll be dead. Oh. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot. Adas! I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. No. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. For that, Adas, you guys, you really don't have to. You really don't have to. Me having problems, that's my own problem. Not you guys' problem. You guys. Oh, I don't even know what to say, Adas, you guys. I love you guys so freaking much. Seriously, I love you guys so, so, so much. <gasps> Thank you, Adas. Thank you. Seriously. Oh, you guys. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. No. I love you guys. I love you guys. <laughs> I hate PayPal and it's stupid <laughs> authentication system. Okay, I'm really bad at those too. <laughs> I'm really bad at those. <laughs> Me cause death, not will. I thought it's a will. I thought it's at will. Okay, never mind then. Never mind. Difficult. But the fact <laughs> is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. That was a little salty. Someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. What? Who's she? 
Oh, that looks dark. Uh oh. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. I have social anxiety. I don't answer phones. I have social anxiety. No, no. If I don't know who's calling, I'm not picking up. And I don't know who she is, but I don't know what questions she might ask. No, 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 no. I don't know what questions she might ask. And then I can't prepare myself mentally. And I don't know what answers to give. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have awkward silences. And it's gonna be horrible. No, thank you. <laughs> this room is a communist stream. Your problems are our problems. Is that, is that how it works? Is that how it works? Oh, I love being a communist. <laughs> You're not guaranteed to dead if you fall? I mean... In some cases, I feel like you are. I guess there can always, always be some sort of lucky coincidence that saves you. But in most cases, I feel like, no, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> As our phones are done in 2022, exactly! <laughs> There's a reason why they call it community. <laughs> we have the best community here, guys. <laughs> Liz Cole? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Let me pause that. You guys! Why are you doing this? We're not actually that much of a community. We're not that sort of community. You guys, I don't... That really gets to me, seriously. I'm sorry. I'm very overwhelmed with emotions right now. This really gets to me. I'm very, very overwhelmed. <laughs> very overwhelmed. Thank you so, so, so much, Blitzkull. I really appreciate it so much. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are helping me out so tremendously you have no idea seriously thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you <laughs> thank you <laughs> <clears throat> when is it too late to wish someone a happy birthday hmm I feel like after a month maybe i feel like a month is like the limit basically i feel it's not too late happy birthday everyone who's had a birthday in may and everyone whose birthday was miss fantasia it's not just me. You guys miss it too, okay? Let's take the blame equally. So I have like one. How many people are here right now? For my, at the moment, my my count says 26. So I take one 26 part of the blame, okay? That's all. The rest you guys take, okay? Do do with it what you what you may. But I will only take one 26 of it, okay? <laughs> <clears throat> Um, who's that she? I don't think I want to know, and I don't think I'm gonna find out. <laughs> I'm gone again. <laughs> Is that how that redeeming the love works, huh, Quagad? Huh? You just come in, steal that, and then get out again? I see how it is. I see how it is. Enjoy your time. I hope you'll have a great time, Quagad. If I remember correctly, when we use the nation system, Twitch takes less of a cut for itself and give more to the creator. Am I wrong? Absolutely. Twitch takes none of that. The only thing that takes something of it is PayPal. So the only cut taken is PayPal, which is why donations are always really nice, since the only cut taken is PayPal's cut. Um, Twitch doesn't take anything. It, Twitch has nothing to do with those donations. Uh, so with normal things, Twitch takes 50%. Uh, with that, Twitch takes nothing. So that helps. A lot. <laughs> A lot. So she anxiety is the reason why she tends co on stream without me. <laughs> I was just hoping you guys might help me. <laughs> Please don't don't have me, you know, do this call alone all by myself, please. <laughs> Getting hit by the high energy pellet may cause permanent disabilities such as vaporization. <laughs> Gladys. <laughs> See, it reminds me so much of Portal this. It would be funny if they made this game so that the phone would stop ringing at some point. I thought it would, to be honest. I really thought there was going to be an achievement there, but 
There was not. You threw your bid into the pot. I really appreciate it, Blitz School. Seriously, thank you so much. Seriously. Throw a coin to your gesture. Oh no, that song is gonna be stuck in my mind now. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's answer. Ooh. There you go. And now it's all white. Oh. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Oh. Hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. 427. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Sorry, <laughs> but you're in my story now. No! <laughs> Not mannequins! Not mannequins! No! <laughs> Get me out! <laughs> Get me out! No mannequins! <gasps> no mannequins! I hate Chris. Oh, I hate Chris. Oh, I am not visiting the UK anymore. <gasps> it's a mannequin. It's a mannequin. <sighs> Why did it have to be a mannequin? It could just be a normal person. It could just be a normal person, but it had to be. You can unplug the phone? Wait, could I really do that? Could I have tried that? Oh, I should have tried. That was too real, I feel attacked. <laughs> this is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. I can't get to the door. Morning, employee. Press J on your keyboard. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential <laughs> nature of existence. Oh, Anonymous! I'm not gonna press that button. I'm gonna die if I keep pressing buttons. I'm gonna press R. No, T. No, J. Mm. I'm gonna try all the buttons. Doesn't work. It doesn't work! The only mannequin in the entire game. Also, I did spend half an <laughs> drive home screaming, Answer the damn fun! I'm sorry, Chris, I'm sorry. <sighs> try. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing uh -oh. exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Okay. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began to fantasize oh. about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly <laughs> vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Time with the boys. Okay. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. 
Please trust you to prepare dinner. As he wandered through this oh. fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Please press Z to tell your kids a story. I don't have kids. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path. Mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Please press G to tell your wife you love her. But there is no answer. <gasps> How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. i to go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he <laughs> remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? <laughs> Bless... Press G to question nothing. <laughs> Thank you. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. Please Stanley die. Button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Oh! Okay. Have a guess? Wait, what? Are you kidding me? Is that for real? What's going on, you guys? Is that for real? Thank you so, so, so much. Seriously. I'm gonna go with Anonymous. <laughs> Thank you so much. I don't... Ados, thank you so much for the hug for the stream. I really appreciate it. Thank you. 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 I'm out of breath now. I'm out of breath now. Chris, thank you so much for the hug for the stream. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Guys, honestly. I don't know what to say. Who was that? Was that you, Chris? Was that you? I don't wanna like I don't like to name any names in case I'm suddenly then hurting someone's feelings. <sighs> but thank you, Anonymous. I really, really, really appreciate you guys are helping me out so so much. Honest to God, you guys are helping me so much. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Seriously. Thank you. I just... Lizzie, you can buy some more soup. Thank you, Chris. Seriously, thank you. Please don't ever do that again. But thank you. 
I really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> oh. No. I can buy some more soup, guys. We're gonna live over noodle soup. We're gonna live over noodle soup. And I can do that now. <laughs> I have a deer, but no finger pointing. Yeah, see, I, I hate the finger pointing because you don't want to hurt anyone's All feelings. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? You have to go. Thank you so Stanley much for being decided here. to go to the Bye, meeting Thomas. room. Perhaps have he a good time. And good luck memo. with your exam. Good luck with your exam. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I mean, we did exactly this. We did exactly this. He said all of these things already. Can we run? No, we can't. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This time we are. Yet there was not a single person here either. Tips for not getting Feeling fired. A wave of disbelief, <laughs> Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. How to solve a dispute with the co worker? Look at that. I want to read all the things here. Uh, was that one of the endings? So that was one of them. We just died. Oh, that was just an ending. We just died because we didn't listen. Is that it? It's our own fault? Yeah, the transition did make confusing. I did not get that, Goku. I did not get that. Thank you for clearing that up. Thanks for clearing that up, guys. Okay, so we just had an ending then, I guess. I see. Let me see if I missed anything. Is this some shopping trauma? I wish, but it's just that every horror thing uses that. Every single horror thing. I don't know why. There's something about the mannequins. If you didn't want things to go badly, maybe you should have listened to the narrator. But wasn't that the whole point? Like, we always press the buttons and we always, you know. But now we were doing something differently, okay? And, I mean, I gotta go against it. Y you guys know, I gotta go against it. Dying for not listening. <laughs> I guess I deserve that. Meeting room, floor 4XX group, mm -hmm. meeting schedule, weekly target admin, marketing Mondays, legal, do not alter without consulting whiteboard manager, RIP friends, <laughs> there's a whiteboard manager, I want to be that, that sounds cool, not cost efficient, who moved my desk, please keep the targets on topic off, the future was yesterday, tomorrow is now, tomorrow, <laughs> Complete today's unfinished agenda items. Write next day's agenda. Refleet. Employee. And then there's numbers and gym. <laughs> okay. What are your future for the dream? What are your dreams for the future, I mean? Monetize free to play? <laughs> nice. Talk less. Do unbelievably amazing work all the time, every day, with no exception of prom uh, expectation of promotion or recognition. And then something else. That's, I guess, what Stanley is doing, right? What is hot? Profits, 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 profits. And stripes, I guess. <sighs> what do people want? Buy quarterly post review review. Oh, God. That sounds too realistic now. Room closet. Oh. Oh! The broom closet opened. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. What? Finally a door that we could open. Is there really nothing here? There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. <laughs> Gotta stay here now, it obviously. It was that Stanley was still just sitting <laughs> in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. Know. As it okay. is, he's literally just standing there. The movies, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> are you are you really still in the broom closet? <laughs> Standing around doing nothing? Why me? I'm sorry. Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. <laughs> Poor narrator! <laughs> How hard must it be you to work with such an idiot as Stanley? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, 
At least she would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. <laughs> but it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Yep. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friends, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> the broom closet ending was yes. my favorite. I hope your friends <laughs> That's what it sound like. <laughs> Do you guys find this concerning? Taking that you guys are my friends, obviously, Stanley right? He was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> he probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That or with yes. drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Excuse me. <laughs> I feel so cold out right now. <laughs> well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got oh to God. this broom closet, explored it a bit. Am I gonna die just again? About to leave because there's nothing here. When a physical malady of some sort <laughs> shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is not the mannequin again before it begins to decompose. Hello, anyone not who the happens mannequin. to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. <laughs> They have fallen oh prey to any number Kinda of want to turn around to see human there's a mannequin. vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please <laughs> remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics. Anyone want to take over? Huh? Narrative tropes <laughs> in video gaming. So that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. <laughs> All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. <laughs> this is great. I love the game. <laughs> Give me a second to catch up with chat. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, die for not listening to Darwin Award right there. Yeah, I feel kind of called out. I'm being called stupid and fat and ugly. I mean, excuse me? Most of that is correct, but still, okay, still, no need to say it out loud. <laughs> Check your throne gifts. I don't know if... My throne gifts? It should appear on Steam. Uh, stream, not Steam. If anything happens, it should... Should appear. Um, should it? Should. Are you kidding me? Chris, what is this? Are you kidding me? Can I... Would you mind if I say out loud to the stream what it is? I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable if you don't want to, but oh my god. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean... Thank you. Oh, I don't know why I want to hide right now, but thank you. I can't... Guys, I'm too sick for this, okay? <laughs> I'm too sick for this. I can't handle this. That's too many emotions. I can't handle this. I'm surprised it didn't pop up, though. It appeared on the screen. Go ahead. Um, so I got a new cooler for my computer because I'm using the box cooler, the one that came with my CPU, and it sucks. Uh, it doesn't really keep it very cool, and it's very loud, and I hate it. Um, and Chris and Andrew noticed when they were here and they commented on it and I got a, a stern talking to, you know, <laughs> I got a very stern talking to. <laughs> oh, Chris, thank you so much. Wait, but it appeared. Wait, but you say it did appear. Wait, let me see what I missed then. Oh, it did appear now. I see. It did appear now. This is great. <laughs> 
was laughing too hard. I'm sorry. I was playing the game as you asked. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it was so quick that she missed it. I'm so sorry. Did it make a sound? Did I miss the sound as well? <laughs> like the cake. I'm sorry, guys. I'm doing everything wrong. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no more mannequins? Okay. <laughs> Thank God. That's something at least. <laughs> I love how the stream is going so far. I feel like this is the most chaotic stream I've ever had so far, guys. And I'm starting to get really hot right now. I don't know if it's like embarrassment, if I'm starting to get a fever or what, but like I'm starting to get really hot. <laughs> we know. Don't hide from us. It's just, I feel very embarrassed this stream. <laughs> Did you receive the cat mug yet? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Did I say what it was? Or does that mean it was you? Did I say out loud what it was? Does that mean that was you? I can't remember now. Also, I don't want to guess since it was anonymous, so I shouldn't guess. I shouldn't be guessing. But no, I didn't get it yet. Um, I don't know when it will get here, but I will absolutely show it on stream. I will probably use it every stream, but I will absolutely show it on stream as well. <laughs> The moment it gets here, I will show everything. I'm going to show my cooler on stream, guys, when it gets here. I'm going to show everything on stream. <laughs> I'm going to be like, look, guys, this is my mug. This is my cooler. <laughs> Can't keep it cool enough with such a hottie next to like, Excuse me, honey. <laughs> Excuse me. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Chris here doing the God's work. Absolutely. Absolutely. It did make a sound. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I, that's also one of the reasons that I have my mic here uh, as close to my mouth as possible, basically, so that I can talk into it and it doesn't... Because if I have it further away... Can you guys hear that now? No. I have a lot of filters put on so that you guys can't hear my computer. Because my mic was very much picking up my computer, unfortunately, because uh, of the sounds it's making. <laughs> you can see the previous gifts on the throne. Gifts, yes, found it, found it, found it. Oh, so... So he may have looped. You can see it on throat. Okay, I see. I see. Okay. So I didn't accidentally guess then who it was. That's good. <laughs> that's good. But that's nice that you guys can see it. That's really cool. I commented on your YouTube video. You truly are an agent of chaos. I saw it, Peter. I still need to respond, but yes. <laughs> I don't know what's going on lately, but everything is so chaotic. I swear, all the streams I'm doing, the, the videos I'm doing, everything is just chaotic and everything's going wrong. I don't know if you guys noticed, by the way, but today's YouTube video that I released... Wait, I don't think we got a notification for it on Discord, did we? Anyway, the video that I released, I forgot to put a thumbnail and a thumbnail title with it, or like a title with it. Oops. So like five minutes later, I realized, quickly took it offline again, and then... <laughs> we all know you're cool with the Arctic freezers! <laughs> Cooler. <laughs> so much cooler than I am. <laughs> but wait, what was, it, what was it saying? Oh yeah, I quickly took it offline again five minutes after it released and then quickly made a thumbnail and a title like the quickest I've ever made it and then quickly put it back online again in the hopes that no one notices. <laughs> but I saw it had a few views already <laughs> and even one comment, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm going to show everything else to you guys. Everything. <laughs> Gems, hi! How are you doing? It's so good to see you. I am trying so hard, by the way, Gems. I don't know if you noticed. Probably not, because I've started to just call you Gems instead. But to, to finally say your, your like, real name, which is Jemima and not Jemima. I'm trying so hard to get there, but it's really difficult. But I, I'm going to change it, okay? I'm going to change my set ways to Jemima, okay? Mima. There we go. <laughs> How are you doing though, Gems? <laughs> so you weren't streaming today because you were tired. I'm so sorry to hear that. But I hope you're laying in bed right now, snuggled all under the blankets. You know, maybe a little Aslan there with you and just, you know, resting. I really hope you are right now. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, it's going too fast. It's going to, where is it? Where, oh, there we go. <laughs> there did your message go. Uh, I need to plan stuff to bring to the Netherlands. Anything you need. Oh. Nothing I need. I need a hug and I need to see Aslan and that already, you know, is coming. But you can always bring me something Norwegian, which you think I should try. I'm definitely going to have some Dutch things for you here for sure. 
And you gotta try dicks up. Obviously, gems. <laughs> Obviously. <clears throat> Jemima, give in to the dark side. I've done this for the longest time, Mikes. Literally the whole time. But I feel like it's just disrespectful of me to keep continuing. I'm not doing it on purpose. It's just I started it and then I couldn't stop it. <laughs> I didn't even see it. I was too busy. <gasps> You're too busy? What? You're not even watching the stream properly, Adas? What is this? You're having fun with friends? Huh? Huh? Is that more important? Excuse me? <laughs> Oni! How are you doing, Oni? <laughs> I'm so happy to see you, Oni. I hope you're doing good. How sweet of you to stop by. I hope you're doing okay. <laughs> oh, that's so nice, Oni. This is where I tell you you've been saying Chris wrong. <laughs> I'm joking. This is a joke. If you would do that, I would probably probably have a heart attack because I don't even know I don't even know how I could be starting to pronounce it differently. Basically, that's not my real name. Wait, really? <gasps> no, you're crushing my world right now, Jamima. You're crushing my world. I said it correctly, right, Jamima? I thought about it and then still I got stressed that I said it wrong. As I'm not allowed upstairs, but I'm up for food and I'm off to bed soon. Okay, that's good to hear. I'm really happy to hear that. <laughs> I have tried some dicks up before, but I don't know. <laughs> I mean, mine tastes the best. I will give you 100% guarantee on that. I don't know which ones you've tried before mm, and how many you've tried before, but mine's the best. <laughs> that's that's a change, I promise. <laughs> you managed to fix my name from, uh, how did I say it again? Adas, right? I said Adas? Yeah, to Ada. So. Jemima is also possible to fix. I know, I know, but yours we we did a little bit earlier on. Still enough for me to constantly screw it up, but we did do it a little bit earlier on. I'm doing good, Oni. Well, I'm doing good mentally, but I also just got COVID today. <laughs> so I'm doing good mentally. Let's go with that. <laughs> Thank you so much for asking. I hope you're doing good as well, Oni. <laughs> I haven't seen your video yet. Okay, thank God. So that's at least one person that didn't notice my mistake. <laughs> Whoops. Jem sold us her real name once. How dare you forget me or to <laughs> I mean, I haven't forgotten her actual real name, but I'm not going to say that on stream. I ne never actually called you by your real name, Gems. I don't, I mean, I don't think I call many people here by their real names. Do I? No, actually, that's not true. I don't know. She will just learn Jimima when she will have to learn her real name. <laughs> I mean, that's also going to be a question. What would you prefer me to call you when we meet in real life, Ha huh, Gems? Are you going to be sitting at a restaurant and am I going to be saying to Mima? To Mima, it doesn't actually sound that, that weird. Like, I, Cheshire, maybe. But, like, to Mima, I wouldn't really think, or Jemima, either way. But I would not necessarily think that was, like, a, a, a gamer tag name, basically. I like the double life I have. <laughs> Such a spy you are. Such a spy. You call like half of us by our real names? Don't I just call you by your real name basically, Chris? Isn't that it? <laughs> I thought Gassy was my real name. I mean, that's just the kind of person you are. Not, not your name. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> reverse, reverse. I did not say that. I meant simply is just the kind of person you are. No, wait, reverse that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, me, Mike's Thomas, Peter. That's true, but I didn't know if Peter was Peter's real name. That I didn't. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I deserve that. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> There's a story of a streamer called Chester. She's playing a game, and every time someone said the chat is you get distracted for 20 minutes, but it's not my fault. You guys talk too much. I take absolutely zero responsibility for that. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Uh, we have a button for this. I think. No, we do not have a button for this. Mods, can we get... You're terribly late, you know. Naughty. On this. Oh, God. Let me... Let me, let me, let me, let me... There we go. And then just to cap them on. Where's my cap them on? There we go. This should work, hopefully. Think we should be good. 
Now? Great! Kill the bots, kill them to death! <laughs> that's the first time we got follow bot it. That's the first time. Oh, that's nice. Look, we have the two week follower only mode for this room. That's the first time we have that. Sorry for the new people here today. I'm so sorry. We'll turn it off soon. If I know how. <laughs> oh, thanks, Gasly. You did that. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Look at that. Look at that. And it's all quiet now. Only the light. That's actually a problem, but it's pretty nice to have the light like that. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty nice light. <laughs> Uh, what happened? We got follow bought it for the first time ever. We've heard so much about it, of course, but this is the first time. Even though I know your real name for me, you will always be Chess. I think. I don't know. It feels so cute. I don't know if it is necessarily cute, but aww. <laughs> my name is also my real name. Oh, yeah, that's true. You said that. Okay, Adas as well. I alternate calling you Chesh and Mirta. Yeah, I do that with some people as well, just alternating between calling them their real name. But I don't know. I never. <laughs> I never went for NX me. I don't know. I prefer calling people by their real name because it feels more intimate, you know? <laughs> it feels more intimate. <laughs> and I like that intimacy, guys. I love that intimacy. <laughs> it's an intimate potato, huh? Intimate potato. <laughs> <clears throat> You choked on yogurt? Oh god, did we almost kill Peter? <laughs> Let's try again, guys. Let's try again. <laughs> that information is classified for now? What? Which information? Jemima or Jemima? What are we talking about? I'm sorry, I wish you all the best on recovering. Thank you so much, Oni. I really appreciate it. For now, I feel completely fine. I found it out this morning that I have COVID. Well, I don't feel completely fine, but I feel relatively fine. As fine as I could feel with having COVID, I think. <laughs> Hour and a half stream, we're getting close to five minutes of content, but it was an amazing five minutes of content, huh? I mean, amazing five minutes, guys. Come on. <laughs> best one. <laughs> Go like, oh wait, 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 I read that, I read that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ada says sorry. <laughs> I'm not drunk, I swear, guys. I don't know what's going on. I think it's all the presents. <laughs> I think it's all the presents, but I'm not drunk. I promise. <laughs> His real name is St. Peter. Get your facts right. God damn it, I'm so sorry. I, I, I insulted St. Peter. God. <laughs> Someone said my name. I always say your name, Thomas. I always say your name. Oh, also, what are you doing here? Go away. You should be like studying for an exam or something. Don't be here. Cheshire does it. <laughs> every stream of every week and every year. And Cheshire was happy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you like to hang upside down on a cross? That's what you do in your free time, huh, Peter? That's interesting. Well, the more we learn about each other, huh? <laughs> I can't tell you what happened. Yeah, it went so fast. It was mostly for me because I keep seeing the notifications. For you guys, it wasn't that bad yet. You just got like two follower sound things, basically. And that's it. I just kept seeing the notifications. <clears throat> oh, Matrix! Thank you so much for the reset. That's so sweet. I'm sorry the sound didn't play now. I'm not sure. I don't think it's safe yet to turn on again. But thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Do you normally type in chat? Maybe that. Yeah, I think it was premature, but you never know what's happening. So I, I think it's good that we did that. Most people here are able to talk now anyway, and we can just turn it off soon. Did I tell you guys what the... How do we turn it off again? I'm pretty sure you can also turn it off in the settings. <laughs> I was followed by life once. I had a meltdown. When did that happen? I think I heard about it. But I can't remember now when it was. When was that again, Gems? How long ago? But yeah, it's okay. We, we were prepared for it now. We were prepared. Wasn't too bad now. <laughs> I love that it's a <laughs> And it's me sucks. Probably the first only stream I was here. Wait, did you tell me... How you came up with that name? Did you? I can't remember now. One, two, three! I have a thing for numbers, guys. Uh, especially when the numbers on the clock are a certain thing, you know? When it's, for example, one, 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 or two, 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 or whatever. Or it's like, uh, 
one 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 or I don't know it doesn't matter when the numbers are good makes me feel good makes me feel good or two three two three for example <laughs> How is the dick juice written? I tried to look up what it is, but okay, so it's like this. Dicks up. There you go. You just change the category back to just chatting at this point. No, 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 we're playing a game. You're just not paying attention, okay? We're playing a game. Stuff is happening. You're just not paying attention. You guys are talking too much. That's not my fault. <laughs> Let's forget what information is classified, okay? <laughs> I'll forget then. <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about. You tried to pronounce my nickname and was almost an insult, so that's why I changed my Twitch name to have my real name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry for that. <laughs> I suck at pronunciations, okay? It's not a secret. I suck at it. So this is what the hype was all about. I expect, like, Siren to go off and <laughs> long time followers will be saved. This little anticlimax. <gasps> You're disappointed now, Goku? You're disappointed that you're still able to talk? Huh? Okay. The lights are still not back on. That's not correct. That is not correct. The follower flashing is still going on, though. Let's see. Let's go back to... Everything on. No, that's off. Everything on. This? Can we please? Can we please? It's not going on. Is not going on. Oh, I think the follow. Oh, the follower thing probably broke it. Wait, let me see. I'm gonna. Mm, that doesn't help. I'm gonna quit it and then start it again. See if that helps. Cause this is clearly not. I think it's because everything else is queued up at the moment. <clears throat> Uh, no things. Yes, that's good. That works again. I think we're all good again now. We might be able to turn the thing on again soon. I'm not sure. Does that mean you can stream for as long as you feel like tonight? Yes, I can. But also, I'm pretty sure I shouldn't overdo things. But yes. <laughs> it's a while ago now. A while ago what? What are we talking about? What are we talking about, guys? A while ago what? <laughs> I think I know the command. Let me know when and I'll try it. I think you can do it now. I think you can do it now, Gasly. I mean, they shouldn't be talking. Uh, we should make sure not to raid after this, though. Because if we raid someone after this, uh, the follow boss will come with them. They might have come with Vika then. Possibly. I mean, we don't know. But there's a chance. At least I've heard that you shouldn't raid someone after it. I was like 12 year old, it was for a Lego website. And does it stand for anything? Or maybe something secretive? We want to see the room closet ending. I'm, I'm working on it. You guys stop talking. I'm working on it. <laughs> so happy that I have a recognizable Twitch username so that I don't have to be assaulted. <laughs> Is it Matrix? Is that it? Matrix? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I've done this anti-follow bot button a lot, so I was expecting like gates closing, fireworks everywhere, just a bit of cinematic drama. <laughs> I mean, yes. <laughs> yes, this is anticlimactic. I will give you ah, that. Second player, it's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. <laughs> you too. <laughs> I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Yeah, I think that's all he's gonna give us. <laughs> oh, it's been a while this is Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jeps. I'm a bit of a mess right now. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, it was a little while ago, right? It's a long explanation, but I wouldn't see gameplay, so I'll tell you after. Okay, cool. But you've been pronouncing it correctly over the past 16 months. Only the past 16 months? Huh, that's pretty impressive. Actually, I have not, because there's also a Q there. I have not been pronouncing Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Ooh. Did I pick that up? No. 
But Stanley just couldn't do it. <laughs> he considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason We're going reason in a all, circle. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, oh, he began to yeah. make other strange observations. Like we're going For in a example, circle. Why couldn't he see his feet yeah. when he looked down? I noticed that already. Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So. He imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself we soaring are. through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. <laughs> How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating <laughs> everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? <laughs> Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. What if the voice After is all, Stanley? He knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? <laughs> How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently. And he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. I all I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. His voice is nice, Everything by the way. Everything will be fine. I am okay. So this was another ending then? No. Stanley began screaming. <laughs> Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just oh someone God. tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be oh real. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am oh God. I? And everything went black. This is the story of a woman <laughs> named Mariella. <laughs> Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. Oh, God! But on this particular Stanley day, Stanley died her walk again! Was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled Stanley through died town again. talking and screaming <laughs> to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, 
For just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. <laughs> Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day, the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down <laughs> at the body. And then she turned and ran. <laughs> she ran! <laughs> She ran. <laughs> she just left us there. Jesus. Huh. What do you know? We're in the same spot again. <laughs> um, I just realized that in order for us to give Mir to hug currently, we have to have hazmat suit. Yes, I, you have a hazmat suit? I use it for acting and it has real funny gas masks. Oh, geez. Wow. Okay, that's cool. Can we see a picture of that at some point? Lucid dreaming? Yeah, exactly. Have you guys ever had a lucid dream before? I wish you could have a lucid dream, especially last night when Gems was doing some stretching. Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> Do I need to know more information about this? Or does the light kind of speak for itself? What was being said there? <laughs> My boring mind only thought that we should uh, compare notes. Uh, <laughs> which stretches work the best? <laughs> Ditika, hi, how are you doing? I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> how have you been? How are you? I hope you're doing okay. So in this game, it's been about like Half-Life or something. Is it? It reminded me of the Portal games. So that would make sense then, I guess, if it's a spin-off of Half-Life. Give me something like weed. <laughs> I need to get high on this game. See, it is like super liminal, right? <laughs> I also wish I could have lucid dreams. My last night dreams would violate TOS here. Excuse me, can we have like a slight topic hint? I need to know now. My last night dreams were that I was being excluded <laughs> from a friend group from high school, which was great. And I dreamt that the whole night and I basically just cried the whole night in my dream. Fun times, it was fun times. Good, I always have the best dreams, guys. I always have the best dreams. <laughs> What a normal person to see a body makes her feel better. Yeah, and then run away, right? Then run away. <laughs> it was originally a mod for Half-Life, I think, and then turned into a separate game. Nothing actually to do with it. Okay, I see, I see, I see. That's cool, though. The end is never the end. The ever is never... The end is never the end. 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 Yeah, yeah, I see. When I will be at home, I will post a picture of me and... Okay, cool. I can't wait to see that. I recently finished watching your inside playthrough and it was great. <laughs> I'm surprised you managed to get through that, Tatika. I'm very surprised you managed to get through that because that was an experience. <laughs> that was quite something. <laughs> I always have bad dreams. I prefer not remembering any of them. Yeah, my dreams are always bad. And most of my dreams are me being excluded from people, which is great. I always wake up very sad. And usually, I don't know why, but it's also, it lasts the whole night, which is great. <laughs> but yeah, my dreams are always bad, guys. Always bad. It's better to eat kids than to have animal cruelty. From inside. Look at that. Great quote, guys. Great quote. <laughs> Let's see. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? <laughs> Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. There we go. Yet there was Lost not a single room. person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, wow. His boss lives in a fancy place. Ooh. Executive bathroom. Yes, please. Because the boss knows that what the boss sa says goes, if the boss says suffered losses, then that's what the boss chose. Okay, I see. Someone wasn't too happy, it seems. Can we see ourselves? No.
Can't interact with any of this. Okay. So which one is the way to the boss's office? Business strategy and the killing a panda? Excuse me? They're like my my second favorite animal. We're down. Okay, I guess we gotta go to the office first then. Oh. Hmm, I am the most expensive boss. Cool. He seemed like a great guy. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Which is over here. We could have taken the elevator, goddammit. Can we still take the elevator? Probably not. Nope, we can't. I can tell you the part that's okay. I was driving somewhere. I don't even know where to. And since I was hungry, I stopped at some gas station and uh, bought a sandwich. And then, I need to know now. And then what? A few weeks ago, I dreamt of Chess shouting at me something in language and didn't understand. Also, my dreams are crazy and fun. That sounds like a crazy fun dream indeed. <laughs> me shouting at Adas. <laughs> Link. Plus. Link plus. Link plus. Hey, Nell! How are you doing? I'm so happy to see you, Nell! How are you? How have you been? I hope you're doing okay! You love this game? This is my first time playing it. And I had no clue what to expect. I still don't really know what to expect, to be honest. <laughs> it's really dark in here. Last night I also got mugged by two gay guys in full leather attire in a men's bathroom. One of them insists of showing off his micro peen. In your dream? Was that elevator always there or is that new? It was always there. You don't remember that? Maybe you never found it, huh? How about that? We're gonna die. We're gonna die if I go there. No? No? Okay, never mind. Okay, it was a dream. It was a dream. Okay, thank God. <laughs> thank God, Peter. <laughs> Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Ah! Okay. But now I want to know what's up with that other elevator. God damn it. Stanley walked oh. straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. He talked us, he told us about that Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. <laughs> hmm. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. <laughs> At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly <laughs> confront his death. <laughs> now we can check the... oh! He survives. As the machine whirred into oh. motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer oh God. to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. <laughs> Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. 
perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. Excuse me! So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. <laughs> oh, God. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Oh! What? We have a different narrator? We have a new... Stanley Parable. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? The nature painting, Stanley's computer, the office layout, the corridor. The painting of this opening section was important to get right. The corridor had been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in a good time. Here's the two doors. Set of the two open doors was the very first uh, a concrete piece of the Stanley Parables design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it, an exploration of the contradiction this room posed. Then we have filing cabinets. Office layout. The blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path from Stanley's office to the two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout the development, through the core layer, uh, though the core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. Ah, oh, interesting. The office. Button sounds. A selection of the sounds used throughout the game when buttons are pressed. Each sound is a mix of a keyboard stroke and a synthesized tone. <laughs> ah, it's the credits! Nice! Office. Maintenance room. An early version of the maintenance room. We can go that way or the other way. Let's go this way first. War zone. Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would become sentient and would uh, wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. So we found really like a an ending ending, I guess. Lightwing! Hi! How are you doing? I'm happy to see you, Lightwing! How are you? I hope you're doing okay. From Michael M. Subject, some questions. How do you make JRPG? How do you make the worst game ever? What's the difference between a duck? Between a duck and what? Oh cool. How's the game going? I hope it's as good or better than the first one from Cool Man. Narrator emails. After the second e uh, trial, we sent out, we asked people to email the narrator some questions. We had initially planned to use these further promotional materials. Uh, we never found a perfect use for them. Here are the selection of those emails. That's great. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so cool. Let's see if we can find a way out of here then. Maybe. One option, two options, one option, event. Okay, how do we get out? How do we get out? Oh my god. This way. See? I hear typing somewhere. Feeling it's gonna be here. No? There you go. Exit. I'm not gonna go through all of this right now, because I feel like that would take a really long time. And I do want to see more of the game. <laughs> So we'll do this maybe oh, later. look at oh, these God. two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? 
Oh, can you see potato. how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still uh -oh. save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let <laughs> And we're gonna wake up in the office, right? I think. <laughs> There's no getting out, Ted. You're here forever. How are you doing, Lightwing? I hope you're doing okay. Wait, I didn't hear the bids. I don't hear any of the bids. Wait, give me a second. Guys, thank you so much. Just as you leave this part for later, since it's spoilers. I'm sorry. I'll put on the sound things again. See if it works again now. Let me see. We had to turn everything off. Um... Yeah, seems like we're good, follower-wise. Seems like we're good. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I hope I didn't do it too much. I got it. I'm sorry. <laughs> she does not even believe in free choice. Okay, let me see what I missed. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My dreams are crazy and uh, not fun most of the time. I've just finished my internship and now it's exam time. But besides that, I'm fine. Okay, well, good luck with your exams now. Oh, that must be such a stressful time you're going through right now. I hope you're not too tired and overworked and everything. But yeah, and I'm sorry about the dreams. <laughs> I'm sorry about those. I feel like a lot of people have bad dreams a lot, unfortunately. And then I ended at some hospital for me. It was just a clinic, not sure. Only the inside of one room appeared in my dreams. Oh, yeah. And I was going to say hi to everyone again. I don't know how or why I ended there. And then what was the part that you shouldn't say? Huh? I need more information still. This is still not enough. Okay. This is still not enough. There are some stories from people here that are better to say for IRL meetings. That's that's definitely true. I agree. So people shoot me me IRL. Hmm? 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 This is oh, oops. This is a spoilery ending. Be warned. Never mind, you're not gonna read this. Enjoy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I did what you wanted, okay? I played the game. <laughs> Car started. It's never good enough. <laughs> she always go against what she's told me against always. Always, always, you know? Is this cause in real life I'm just such a goody good shoes? Is that it? Goody good shoes? Goody good Yeah, I think so. Anyway, I always do everything according to rules i don't break a single rule i absolutely hate that i don't break rules so in game i can finally let free a little bit let loose you know go live the life that i can normally not lead so yeah <laughs> that's why whenever the narrator says that stanley will die she's getting giggly and excited <laughs> stanley will die <laughs> I had a dream where I was put on trial for like murder or something, but I didn't do it and a bunch of weird chisel happened to me out there the entire time I felt like I could die at any moment. It was very unrealistic and weird, but felt so real. I know that feeling and that sounds like it really sucks. You must have woken up feeling pretty bad. It's this ending. How many endings are there, guys? How many are there? So mad at behind the scenes, they love them. She's gonna read through all the spoilers before reading chat. No, I did not. I did not. I did not. Okay. <laughs> I did not. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, text to speech is not working right now because everything is turned off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> we are doomed. The narrator disabled. <laughs> Wait, we had an alien as well. Oh no, the alien is coming after this. I guess. What well, for fuck's sake? Stop! I'm sorry, guys. I stopped. I stopped. Okay, I did it. Jeez. <laughs> I did it. Okay, I'm sorry. Now we can go check the other All elevator. All co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he, he had simply run. missed a memo. We haven't even tried all the doors yet. When I hope Stanley she finds the line. The of two open doors, Which line? He entered the door on his left. Line. Now the boss. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, up. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. And then we're going this way. And then we're taking the elevator.
I don't know if we should go up or down, no. getting awkward. It's getting very awkward, guys. Woo! Well, I started the staring contest now, you know. I can't end. I mean, you guys are in this still, right? You guys are still staring at me, too? I'm not just staring here all by myself? Huh? Am I? Am I? Oh, I'm not a potato anymore. God damn it! I broke it! <laughs> no! I broke it! I want to see if I was still a potato! No! <laughs> Thanks, Matrix. Thanks for that. <laughs> Ah yes, the line, the line. <laughs> I know. Did I make a mistake? How long is this? Never gonna end. <laughs> of course, you're staring at you, Cheshire. Gr Gorgeous. Oh, lightweight. I always feel like gorgeous is like the the most amazing compliment anyone can ever give you. so much right now. Oh, my cheeks hurt. Stop <laughs> it. you, Lightwing. <laughs> my cheeks. My cheeks. Is the wow not working either? The wow didn't work. No. Why did the wow not work? It's probably because everything was turned off, guys. I'm so sorry. Let me see. Let me see, is there something that should be turned on right now and is not? Oh, it should all be there now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know how to fix it. It did work? You guys heard the wow? Oh, really? I didn't hear it. Why did I not hear it? Well, that's good at least. I don't know why I didn't hear it, but... <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it's true that you guys stop. No, honestly, I'm blushing so much right now. I mean it. My cheeks are very hot. My cheeks are very hot right now. <laughs> now you're also blushing. You're stunning me gorgeous. No, stop it. <laughs> I mean it. I gotta hide a little bit now. I gotta hide a little bit. Seriously, guys. <laughs> You need to sit in an elevator all day, you can reach out and claim we're still getting gameplay. Exactly! You guys are just complaining about nothing again, as usual. So much complaining, guys, even though I'm giving you exactly what you want. I'm giving you both talking and gameplay. And once again, it's still not good enough. My own sounds should be good. I mean, I heard this. Maybe I was just distracted, I'm not sure. That's one hottie. That's too hot tea. Oh, that's great. Thanks, guys. I don't think anything is gonna happen. <laughs> okay, it works! <laughs> it works, Kathleen! Fine! You tested it! <laughs> it works! Wait, what? I still gotta try. No, 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 no. We went up. I still gotta go try going down. Wait, did we go up or down? No, I think we went down. We gotta go try up. We gotta go try up. Jesus Christ, Ghastly. <laughs> My chicks are very hot, she said. Well, that's new. I mean, I still miss you too. Hi, Lynx. How are you doing? So happy to see you. I hope you're doing okay. <laughs> I hope you're doing good, Lynx. <laughs> oh, guys. Ooh. Take note, Rex. Well, it's gorgeous. I don't know. Gorgeous is just such... Such a strong compliment, isn't it? Like... Pretty is just like, yeah, you're pretty. Like, beautiful is also pretty nice, but I feel like beautiful is used a lot. It's kind of like the skill of, like, how are you doing? I'm doing, you know, okay. I'm doing fine. I'm doing good. I'm doing great. I'm doing fantastic, you know, etc., etc. And gorgeous is like the highest on the ladder, isn't it? It is, right? Her cheeks are hot just like the rest of her. Okay, no, I can't. I can't stop it. Stop it! Honestly! Oh my god, Lightwing! <laughs> You're really making me blush too much here right now! <laughs> You're really making me blush too much! Okay, let's exit the elevator! No more talking! No more talking! <laughs> that was a good scream timing? Yeah, that was great. 
Just as I stepped out of the elevator. <laughs> okay, so what was it? Two. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What no. could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began oh. wildly tearing through papers Oops. on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking what? behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't Two, possibly Yeah, that was what this. I was going to try next. Yet incredibly, by go. simply pushing random buttons on the <laughs> keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. And easy. There you go. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. There you go. I find your finder is highest of all times. Oh, is it now, Lynx? I see, I see. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> 2845. Yeah, I wanted to try that next and then I misclicked and then by that time it was almost done talking already anyway. If you don't realize what's happening with this elevator, it was just infinite, right? It just didn't end, right? It was random? I don't believe that. You're a mod and you always have like control over everything. That's how mods work. Okay? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. There we go. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What oh, horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Ooh. Now I gotta test everything, guys. Like, if I stand still long enough, is he gonna talk again, you know? How long do we stand still for? No, that's too long. Let's go. <clears throat> Oh, cameras. There now the monsters oh. jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Oh. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Which number are we again? For... For something. Right? 417, maybe? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? <laughs> no. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all Jeez. of it monitored okay. and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. But do the people for still he exist then? would dismantle the controls once and for all. But if he disables it, do the people still exist? Console disabled? Ooh, my back hurts, guys. I'm not sure how much longer I can still go. I'm definitely feeling quite sick right now. Ooh, that was the cat opening a door. <laughs> <clears throat> we saw these buttons before. Found these buttons. We probably need to press them in a certain order, I'm guessing. Oh, wait. Do we have... This is five. Do we have a number eight, maybe? Wait, let me see. Sorry, guys, we, we played a lot, a lot of gameplay here. Like, too much. Too much gameplay. 
I guess this is why I didn't remember this elevator. Yeah, disappointing there. It was a little bit disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. I at least wanted an achievement for it. Thank you very much. <laughs> also, you're hot. <laughs> very hot right now jesus christ <laughs> for me since i don't really remember how people look so for me best thing is genuine true to yourself is best compliment <laughs> asian donated ten dollars <laughs> thank you so 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 As <laughs> I Stop laughing now. Oh. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everything hurts right now. Gems. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry for misreading that. I'm so, so sorry. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you so much. That is so amazingly, amazingly sweet of you. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Chips. Thank you. <laughs> it wasn't you? Wait, it wasn't you? But it was Aslan. Who was it? Did Aslan get opposable thumbs, Chips? Is Aslan evolving? Sorry, Todd, as to steal my credit card. <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> You're breathtaking. Okay, breathtaking might be like the highest one. Breathtaking might be the highest one, you guys. I can't, I can't, I need to. <laughs> I can't, honestly. I can still read this way. Let's just do it like this. I can't read well, though. I miss, I'm doing well. Mm. So I think that above gorgeous would be ravaging. No, but mm. ravaging is also good, but it sounds more sexual, doesn't it? At least to me, it sounds more sexual. Like, I don't wanna. <laughs> oh, the banana is good for this one. Oh, the banana is good for this one. Ravaging is like, I wanna, I wanna take a little bit of a bite. <laughs> I wanna have a taste. <laughs> I wanna have a piece of that. Oh. <laughs> That's ravishing. Like you look edible right now. You you look to die for. You know that's ravishing, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Hot is referring to like being sexy in my brain. While gorgeous could be sexy, but also just the epitome of beautiful. Maybe I think too much about words. No, I agree with that, Mel. I completely agree with that. <laughs>
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm so glad. I'm, I'm so glad the camera didn't cut out there. <laughs> I'm so glad we were banana for that. <laughs> you're so hot. I'm wondering you're running a fever. No, really. You should take your time. I don't think I'm running a fever yet, but I hope, I hope it's not going to happen, guys. I hope to God it's not going to happen. I'm not a super big fan of perfect because it doesn't exist in my brain, so it kind of feels insincere. I agree. I agree with that, Nell. Beautiful, gorgeous, ravishing, thick, thick, <laughs> thick. <laughs> Paul, is just <Shesh> hot. <laughs> ravishing is good, but a bit old. Oh, is it oldish? Next poll is what are we? <laughs> yes, stop that. <laughs> Damn, if I were a woman, I would have a naughty comment after. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. We're not going there. <laughs> Go to hot bath that helped me when I had COVID. Wait, really? Because I feel usually when I have a fever and I then take a bath, I feel worse afterwards. But happy to see you. Happy stream. You take care and have fun. Make sure to be. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> My buddy Grace for some snacks and green tea. So see you next time. Keep smiling, kicking your arses, I guess. Thank you so much, Links. I really appreciate it. Enjoy your food. Enjoy your drink. It's Makalik. And thank you so much for being here and stopping by. <laughs> I didn't expect that reaction to me saying that. What? Stop that. Stop that. Why? <laughs> Aslan. Aslan. No, I did not. We're forgetting about that. <laughs> we're, free. we're forgetting about that. <laughs> she dies of embarrassment. We are accountable in the eyes of the court. <laughs> yes. I'm sick in the head. I'm sick in the body. Excuse me, Goku. <laughs> Why are you getting that one, huh? Why are you getting that one for a Goku? <laughs> I want to see. <laughs> So happy to see you. How are you doing, Lizzie? Thank you so much for stopping by. That's so sweet. Hi. Oh, my everything hurts. My everything, everything hurts. Last thing she did before she had to go. Ooh, story, story, story. She knew how to make an impact for sure. <laughs> Do we have the embarrassment counter yet? No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> Sexual feeling. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> this is just after her most ravishing, <laughs> at her most ravishing, clearly showing a little skin under that feel. I unzip just far enough, guys. I unzip just so that you guys can see just what you. I'm not showing this correctly. I'm just showing it just as far. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. <gasps> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. No farther, though, guys. No farther. No, uh, uh. That's as far down as we go. Okay, that's as far down as we go. Just <laughs> also intoxicating. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> I fucking love your stream today. This whole group of people is one of the few places we can all be so stupid. I love that we are stupid at the same time. Excuse me, we're not stupid. We're highly intelligent people that are sometimes acting a little bit different than other people. Okay, let's go with that. We're, we're gonna go with different. We're just different, guys. We're just different. Okay, we're special. At least my mommy says I'm special. <laughs> no, but I agree, Adams. I agree. <laughs> Congrats on 1.4k followers, by the way, Tasha. Oh, very legit and very hard. -earned. Hey, I did work hard for that. Okay, excuse me, Yassi. I worked very hard for that. That's so sad. To see that number and then have it disappear again. That's so freaking sad. Why couldn't that be real? Why couldn't that be real? That's so sad, guys. <laughs> Do I have potassium showing? No, no. Bad joke, bad joke. <laughs> If the banana thing would have stopped right there, of course, this stream would have ended. Yeah, that was not a position. I'm going to repeat without the banana there, okay? For sure. Never repeating that without the camera. Okay, so I guess we're going to facility power then. And turning this bad boy off. What does it say there? Ming mind control uptime? And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Oh, Stanley. 
didn't just activate the control. <laughs> After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you want? What? Control? <laughs> oh, Stanley. I would do I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. Oh, he sounds I'm evil now. You have nearly the power you think Ooh. you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. <laughs> you are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. <laughs> oh, this is Ready. much better than what I had in mind. What a Ready. shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. <laughs> Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time this to one talk opened about up. you. This wasn't me. open before. Where we're we going? What all this means? I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? Okay, wait. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. Oh. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, Zero, I simply five, let you two, sit one. there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside. I gotta find I all the buttons. Burn to a crisp. I have to say this though, this version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back ah, the control rested away from you, it's quite Shush! Rich. Stop talking! I to see it go! Three, here. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra Four. time on the clock, why not? Yellow. These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Yellow oh, and then four? Me, what's the matter, Where's Stanley? four? Is it that you have no idea where you're four going? Four up? Oh my god, I'm so stressed. Right now? Shush! Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen <gasps> to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One <laughs> solved? Do you have any no. idea what your purpose in this Doing place is? Doing purple? What? <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment. We have three, five. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's Four. just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing One, instead two. of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. We don't have a zero. To see you made humble. Oh my god. This is ah! a challenge. No, it's I wanted to run. You wanted to control this world. That's oh, I know. Fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Oh no! Take Goodbye, employee to That's 30 seconds seven. you have left to struggle. Oh no! Until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go oh, peacefully? No. <laughs> I don't know choice. what to do! Make it I don't know what to do! It. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say... Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder if I could have done something there. I wonder if I could have done something there. God damn it. <laughs> Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to <clears throat> check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. 
I don't think we're doing great, guys. <laughs> Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up yeah, to yeah, his yeah, boss's yeah, yeah. office. Coming to a staircase, we're Stanley to walked upstairs to his boss's office. Which is over here. You love this game? It's a Legatus cat? Legatus cat? Hi, welcome to the stream cat. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we remember now. In his tracks. Not a living soul anywhere. Two, Could he really be all eight, alone? Four, this was five. too much for Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting forced into it now. I see how it is. <laughs> Actually, it does calm me down a bit. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward <laughs> into the opened passageway. There we go. That happened. We would have been tossed out of here real hard now. Bad. Bad there. Bad. <laughs> Very bad. This isn't a position I'm going to repeat <laughs> without the banana. How are you able to make that sound so bad? Oh my god, Chris. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mind control facility. We are, we are. We're going to turn off the thing. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What horrible secret did this place hold? <laughs> Stanley thought to himself. We know he now. Have the strength to find out. How are you liking Stanley Parable? I'm loving it so far. Absolutely loving it. This is definitely my type of game for sure. Now there the I monitors go. jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. So two, Each bore the uh, number four. of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many huh? individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally one. monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Two, four, seven, uh, four, two, seven, I mean. So this one in the middle. Yeah, that looks like our room. That looks like our room. Did not make clear enough that there was nothing you could have done? I mean... He did make it clear, but you never know, okay? The narrator can say whatever he wants, but you this never know. There's achievements for everything. Facility. It was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated <laughs> to accept it blindly? No. No. He refused <laughs> to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone Pirates. else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began yeah, yeah, to yeah, 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 yeah. Stanley decided that this machinery... <laughs> Can we Blackness walk around? And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes! He had won! He had defeated the machine! Unshackled himself from someone else's command! Freedom was mere moments away! No way! And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. 
for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Hmm. I don't think I have a choice. Yeah, I don't think I have a choice. But this doesn't necessarily look real, does it? Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. No, we're happy. Team unlocked, beat the game. That was it? We're done? I mean, it do, do say the end is never the end, is never the end, is never the end. Was that it, guys? Are we done now with the game? I think it's done now, right? You're never done with Stanley Parable, but are we done, though? <laughs> I don't know what else we could still try, right? There are way more endings? But how? What could we still try? Many more endings. Uh, you can just ignore the narrator and do what you want. Yeah, but we did that. Every, at every point, I tried to ignore the narrator first. You haven't even seen any of the Ultra Deluxe stuff yet? How? I don't know where we can still go then. What? I want an achievement. Don't play the game for five years. <laughs> That's an achievement. Of course it is. Why does that not surprise me? Why does that not surprise me, guys? <laughs> Mono the Stanley Parable is, if you think it's possible, then it is. Good afternoon. Hi, Zenik. How are you doing? Happy to see you. How are you? I hope you're doing good. <laughs> Ironic the ending where Stanley is free is the ending where you follow the narrator completely. Yes, yeah, see? That's why I thought we didn't have to follow him. New age. <laughs> why did you say things that are made so bad? I do not, okay? I do not. It's just you guys' those filthy minds that make it into something completely different, okay? <laughs> completely different. <laughs> Not my fault. There are truly an insane number of endings, but how? I'm so confused. Everybody says to go back on track, take the left door. We're on a cargo lift, jump off the platform onto some catwalk below. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. Go to the right. What could it mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, new content. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? Go here? Oh, wait, time jump, right? New content. Oh. But you can't jump, so how can you jump off the platform then? Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. <laughs> After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, More delighting content. audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. <laughs> oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. What if we don't go there? Is that an option? No, it doesn't look like it. 
One other doors. Nope. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, <laughs> but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. <laughs> um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... Uh, oh, oh, here we oh, go. there we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm ready. Oh, God, this mm. is going to take forever, huh? Mm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. Not it's very deluxe I'm... either. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. The All jump right. circle. All right, let's see it's... But we can't the jump. jump. circle. Oh, no, we can. Woo! Exciting new content, guys. Is this what you guys are here for? Huh? Is this why you guys watch my streams? For the gameplay? Huh? For the gameplay? Talking of mine, huh? Just gameplay. I see how it is. I can't jump again. Ah, oh, wow jumps. Ah. Oh, wow jumps. New. Is is that it? Yeah. Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? <laughs> the MD gamer. Hi, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? <laughs> Hope you're doing good. Now you're into it. <laughs> I want more jumps. Okay, well, I guess that was it for the jumping. Wait, let me see. Um, You don't even have the bucket yet? How do I get a bucket? Still feeling okay, but uh, I'm still busy with a lot of things. I'm happy that I'm making progress. Well, I'm happy to hear that, Senek. I'm happy to hear that. That's really good. Didn't someone say that the ring phone can be shut down? Oh, that's true. Someone said that. Okay, yeah, we should shut down the phone. This ultra deluxe stuff, so spoiler alert, a platform that warns you not to jump off it, not this one. Yeah, yeah, no, I get it's not this platform, but I thought the other platform that you talked about also had railings up. But maybe I'm wrong. There's nothing stopping you walking off the site. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll check it next time then. Sorry. <laughs> That's cruel. <cool. laughs> oh! And another slow elevator. Another elevator. Great. <laughs> Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If I'm pretty excited. Content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. <laughs> yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Thank you for enjoying the new content. That's it? <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed up on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended. And I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold yes. them personally. Accountable. Maybe <sighs> write a strongly worded it's my letter. Fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. <laughs> if you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about? No frills, no gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Excuse me. That's different. That is very different. Yeah. That's what we're supposed to see. Oh, 
can't do anything with that. Psst. Oh! Stanley! Come over here! In the vent! I want to show you something! Yeah, no, thank you. That's creepy. That is creepy. Oh, this leads to the same place, though. Hmm, okay. Vent it is, then. <laughs> Puffy nuts. <laughs> yeah, very sus! Very sus! I don't like it! I don't like it one bit. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past, and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special, and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Oh! Just our little secret. Take a look. Wow! What? <gasps> I call it the Memory Zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Why is there a random phone here? It's not even connected to anything. It's just a random phone. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was <laughs> before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? <laughs> Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. <laughs> Audience Award to Stanley Parable. <laughs> <laughs> the British Academy of Film and Television Arts awarded to <laughs> Stanley? Pro no, not even. Straley? Oh, for The Last of Us! <laughs> for The Last of Us! <laughs> Stanley Parable. <laughs> the Last of Us, who? <laughs> oh, this is great. Our first kiss, my first car to release a Stanley Parable in 2013. Ah, oh, a beautiful year. Oh. <laughs> good times, good times, guys. A trip down memory lane. Smile because it happened. This Stanley Parable, oh my god. This is like the live, laugh, love thing. <laughs> United States of America, one dollar. Is that the first dollar they earned from it? Probably. The demo. Go outside. Don't play for five years. Oh, that's the achievement. Unachievable. It's impossible to get this achievement. <laughs> Is it? British Academy of Film and Television Arts Development Team nominee Stanley Parable. Oh, they did get nominated. I see. They just didn't win. I see. For story. Okay, I see, I see. New video game releasing today. Create a surprisingly down to earth. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> Los Angeles Times Stanley Parable deals tough choices. Doctor did it. <laughs> Don't you like balloons? Yeah, exactly. That's what it reminds me of. Come here to the air ducts. I won't hurt you. <laughs> this ending is your absolute favorite. I love this bit. It looks like Skyrim with a firework. It does. It does, Cat. You're absolutely right. <laughs> That's the perfect description. With like a touch, with a touch of Half-Life in there. This ending broke me for like 10 minutes. Oh, welcome back, Cheshbot. <laughs> Ginger felt embarrassed one time. Oh, I know. <laughs> That's great, Doctor. What the freak? What the freak? That's what Doctor did. Doctor, you're so amazing. I don't even know. I don't even, I don't, I don't even know what to say. You're so freaking amazing, Doctor! You're so freaking amazing! Ah, my cheeks. <laughs> my cheeks. My poor, poor cheeks, Doctor. <laughs> oh, you're so good. Seriously. Oh. Yeah, let's see. Oh, it's beautiful here. Yeah, definitely some fire watching here. Oh. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. 
<laughs> like this stunning triumph of games journalism, 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. <laughs> That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever <laughs> created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. <laughs> The original or maintenance? If that's closed. We can't go to maintenance. Oh, look! That's Portal! See, and I said it reminds me of Portal! Look at that! That's Portal! What's that doing here, huh? Person of the Year! <laughs> it's Stanley! <laughs> That's great. The original remake. <laughs> That's closed. It's not the French flag. Of course. Closed off. Oh, those are the buttons. I don't remember seeing the smiley buttons there. Button somewhere though. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games, and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? <laughs> the game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Nice. Maybe all this stuff might be spoiled for original game stuff. Okay. Uh-oh. Well. The serious room. Yeah, we can't get there. <sighs> Maintenance now? These were simpler times, Stanley. Oh, yeah. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait. Hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. <laughs> What's this? What's down here? Oh! Look, it's this machine. That hasn't worked at all. Je suis dans la memory zone. <laughs> Just change the narrator to Game Johnson. Yeah, exactly! <laughs> Oh no! Oh god no! Stanley, it's a collection reviews. of reviews from Steam, the ah. online video game distributor. I haven't looked Steam at these in Steam reviews! Years. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Surely these <laughs> reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Was it? Oh, there we go. Honestly, not recommended. I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, <laughs> with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. How dare they? I think he's funny. Such a funny guy. <laughs> okay. Suddenly he's definitely getting a lot more Half-Life like. Oh god. I know. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, mm, 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 for someone who prefers no, no, non-linear <laughs> games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. 
This is actually quite shocking for me. <laughs> I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... <laughs> no, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. No. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley oh. Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Oh no, poor narrator. Are these reviews real? What's this one got to I think say? so, right? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations <laughs> of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. <laughs> a skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. That doesn't seem safe. Uh-oh. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. <laughs> oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver I, a long, no, rambling monologue full of unnecessary... <laughs> <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's... <laughs> okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly g Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh my goodness, I have the someone to talk to again. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. <laughs> or two weeks. I've... Oh, hello, it's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us. And... <laughs> hello? Did I kill him? Did I kill him? Can't even get out anywhere. Can we? I don't think we can. Oh no. Oh no, don't make me feel bad, Mama Gasly. Don't make me feel bad. There was just a button. Buttons are very tempting to press. Oh. Doesn't have any batteries anymore, I guess. Oh no, did he die? Oh god. But they didn't understand the oh. game was never meant to be funny. It was <laughs> meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned, they screamed, they gnashed their teeth and said... <laughs> oh god, are we just stuck here now? Is this it? It would probably be years. Yeah, I think more than that. <laughs> I love this game. They make mistakes. Uh, they make massive empty rooms with just a tiny thing in the middle so you always feel small. Yeah, they definitely do. The reviews are all real. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. That's really, really cool. I really like that. The end is never the end. Is never the end is never the end. 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 Is never. Are we just stuck here, guys? Is this just it? Oh. How long has it been? We still can't escape.
Is that a new ice type? Or is that not ice? Ice age, I mean. It's ice time in Dutch. Ice age. Whoop, 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 whoop. Skips again exponentially longer, so thousands of years. Yeah, exactly. No, I figured. Oh, look. That's nice. Still no way out. Zuko. I know. No, you cannot. I don't know what it is, guys. Lately, oh my god, you cannot sit on my lap. Lately, he asked a million times a day to sit on my lap. I know he said it last time, but it's just getting worse. All he wants to do is sit on my lap, and I don't understand. No, you can't. No, you can't. You're too big. You can't sit on my lap. Also, I'm busy. No, you. And then he just tries to crawl on it, and he can't. He's such a baby! He's such a baby! No, you can't. Leave me alone. No, you can't. Is it because he can tell you? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, because it did start, like, very recently. Jesus. Okay. Only very shortly, then. You can't sit here the whole time. Oh. There you go. Say hi to the stream. Hey, did you stream? But yeah, it might be because he notices. Yeah, free dog crap. <laughs> there we go. Ugh. Okay, let me. Now I'm stuck with everything. Okay, 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 okay. Ugh. There we go. Oh, well, where are you going now? Where are you going now? There we go. We're not getting anywhere. Not sounding good though. It's not sounding good at all. Is the world ending? Is that what we're here? Oh. Zuko is standing on my desk. As if he's a cat. <gasps> a way out! A way out. Okay, no you can't. Zuko. <laughs> As if he's a cat! He's just walking. No, you can't. Walking on my desk. Come on. You're not a cat. Animals feel when you're not okay. Yeah, they say that. Yeah, they say that. Let's have a brief 10 minute petting session. If it was on, uh, on to Zuko, on to? If it was for Zuko, if it was up to Zuko, there we go. If it was up to Zuko, we would do that forever. Um, I think we need to press the button again. Zuko became a cat. Yeah, but he grew up with cats, so I wouldn't be surprised if he, like, kind of learned from them. Because he climbs many. Oh, many things. I guess we were supposed to just keep walking. Whoops. And we're back to the beginning, guys. And we're back to the beginning. <laughs> there was our no Zuko, you can't. There was our new content. <laughs> I think this is where we're gonna be ending, though, guys. Oh, you can even start it again. But uh, I'm starting to feel pretty sick. Let's see. There you go. So how much can we still do in the game? Still find many, many other different things, right? Many other different endings? There you go. You didn't skip immediately, the narrator went into detail on how the passage of time while you were skipping was affecting him. I see. Yeah, I wondered maybe also if there's achievements for not skipping immediately, but then I also thought maybe there's achievements for immediately skipping, so I tried that one. There's a lot left, even. So it really is actually a puzzle game then, I guess. Is it motion sickness? No, not motion sickness. I have COVID, unfortunately. <laughs> motion sickness would make sense as well, though. But no, it's not that. <laughs> you still have at least two streams left out of content? Wait, really? Wow. Please don't overthink the achievements in this game. I can't help it. I'm an achievement hunter. That's what I do. I love finding achievements. That makes me so happy. Nothing made me happier than getting that jumping achievement. <laughs> 
Thank you for the stream. That was great. Thank you so much, Cassie. Thank you. What if you enter a wrong password in the boss office? I did that already. I entered the wrong... Or maybe after, you, after he gives me the password? I could try that. I only did it before he gave me the password. I could definitely try that. Or do you have a skim through the achievement list? Okay, I'll see that. You have COVID? Dude, get some rest. Yeah, I'm gonna do that now. My back hurts so badly right now, guys. Seriously. Oh, I'm in quite a lot of pain. So I'm gonna go lay down in bed. We're gonna see if I'll stream either tomorrow or Friday. If I think that I'm feeling good enough, I'll probably stream tomorrow just in case I'm feeling too sick on Friday. But, um, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see how I feel. And so either I'm probably streaming tomorrow or I'm not gonna stream at all. Because if I feel good enough, I'll stream tomorrow just in case I feel too sick on Friday. So, yeah. And then currently all the endings you haven't gotten yet have been through the right hander. Okay, I see. So you just haven't tried there enough yet. Like, unplugging the thing. There's probably also some doors that we could still try. Get well soon. Thank you so much, Atika. Thank you so much. I only have one of those endings. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Thanks for streaming, hanging out. Thank you so much, Uzi. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I heard somewhere that cuddling and giving scratches can heal COVID. But I'm also afraid to give COVID to Zuko. That scares me as well. They... they... It can't happen, right? So I don't I don't want I wanna give COVID to Zuko. <laughs> Let me see. Oh yeah, no, we're not gonna raid, guys. We're not gonna raid, of course. I didn't think about that. We're not gonna raid because we don't want to give anyone our follow bots. Hope you feel better. Thank you so much, Wizzy. I really appreciate it. Spend our money on good things, please. I mean, this time I might have to spend the money on surviving. <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. I'll try, I'll try, Chris. <laughs> Don't forget health is uh, more important than stream. I know, I know, but also, come on. Being here with you guys is the highlight of my week. That's just, you know, that's the best time ever for me, just being here with you guys, so. I've had quite a few shitty days, actually very shitty days. Um, so just being here with you guys, it makes all the difference, seriously. It makes all the difference. Survival is the best thing, nothing better than survival. Yeah, it does help for me to be able to continue streams. <laughs> Do you need to tell Twitch about the bots or will they just slowly remove? I don't think I need to tell them at all. Uh, Twitch will probably remove them themselves or I can use a certain program to remove the bots as well. But yeah, uh, according to the la latest news that I read, read, there we go, according to the latest news that I read, uh, it should be completely fine and Twitch should remove it itself. Yeah, there were about 600, I know, I know, it's so sad. Suddenly we have such a nice number. Suddenly I feel like I'm, I'm slowly getting somewhere on Twitch, you know, like, 1400? Yeah, it's pretty good, guys. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> Thank you for the hug for the stream, Adams. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's sad. It's very, very sad. <laughs> but I'm gonna go rest very quickly because I'm feeling very tired right now. But thank you guys so incredibly much for being here. Thank you for the new people that stopped by and I gave a follow. Not the follow bots, but the other people that chatted with us. I seriously appreciate it so, so, so much, you guys. So seriously, thank you for that. Um, thank you also for the lurkers who are here just lurking a little bit. You guys are freaking amazing. Thank you for that. Um, and seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys for the gifts, the donations, for the sub gifts, for the resubs, for the bits. I don't even, I have no words for all of that. Um, I don't, I really have no words for that. I'm sorry, I'm trying to come up with something and I just don't know, there's, I just don't manage to get my mind around the right ways to express how incredibly grateful I am for you guys um, and for everything you guys are, are doing for me and everything that you guys mean to me in my life because you guys mean the absolute world to me in my life and I don't have any words for that. <sighs> Seriously. Oh, you have to go do your run now. Give me strength. Ooh, I'm giving you all the strength I still have left, okay? Now I'm gonna get really sick thanks to you, Chris, okay? This is thanks to you, but I'm giving you all of my strength that I still have left. <laughs> Slarati, hi! Welcome to the stream! How are you doing? I'm happy to see you again! I hope you're doing good! <laughs> you didn't think this through? <laughs> well, it's too late now. I gave it all to you, okay? I gave it all. It's done now. It's done. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, guys, for everyone who doesn't know yet, we have a Discord server. I would love to have you in there. It's filled with these wonderful, wonderful, wonderful people. And unfortunately, I'm in there as well. But hopefully, these people weigh up for that fact. <laughs> also, uh, I have a YouTube channel on which I post Let's Play videos. At the moment, I'm playing Dishonored on there and Elden Ring. And I also have a VOD channel on which I post all of my old Twitch VODs. So this will be up on there as well if you feel like watching this back at some point. Uh, or if you miss any future streams of the Stanley Parable, it will all be on there. So thank you, Jess, for being here. No, let's go. That's so sweet. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> really great to see Aslan's Dodo in a left side corner, isn't it? It makes me so happy to see there. And now I can read the name, okay? Now it's obvious to me. <laughs> now I can see it. <laughs> it's just because donations don't really show up for me anywhere besides very small in the corner for the same, th the same way that you guys see it, the little pop-up. It's because I switched from Streamlabs OBS to OBS and OBS doesn't show it, okay? I swear, it's just because it was teeny tiny and I constantly can't see it. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> So yeah, I will keep you guys up to date on the streaming schedule. Hopefully uh, there will be another stream somewhere this week, but I will let you guys know um, if I feel too sick tomorrow, there might still be a chance that it will be on Friday or something. I'm not sure yet, but yeah, I will keep you guys up to date. Thank you guys so freaking much for being here. I hope you guys will have a great... Oh, thank you so much for the hug for this stream. I really appreciate it, Gasly. I hope you guys will have a great rest of the day, uh, a good night, an amazing night's sleep, and hopefully see you guys later this week for another stream, maybe tomorrow. But yeah, thank you guys so much for being here, and see you later. <laughs> Bye, guys!